Representatives of the Mobile Housing Authority are calling for a ceasefire at a public housing complex after hundreds of emergency calls and several shootings this year. As WKRG News 5's Chad Petrie reports, residents and managers at Gulf Village say the violence is disrupting daily life in what should be a safe place to live and work. Contractors jam one of the streets at Gulf Village Homes. Managers here say some contractors had to duck for cover during one recent shooting. Several residents I spoke with say something has to be done. Things have kind of got out of hand. I mean, uh, there's been a lot of shooting and carrying on, but I don't know, if, of course, who's doing it, you know, but I just think that they need to get everybody housing vouchers and, you know, move everybody up out of here, you know. Some residents said they were scared of retaliation and didn't want to talk to me on camera, but some speaking off camera talked about their concerns. One woman told me that she was so worried about her children's safety that she wouldn't let them play outside. And our children don't have a safe place not only to live, but also to play as well. And home is supposed to be a safe place. And right now we can't say that it's safe. Some residents off the main road of the campus say they hear the gunshots, but don't have the same worries. I feel safety. I just, uh... I don't go anywhere. I just go where I need to go to the store, uh, church, and back home. I'm not, I don't sit out or anything like that. Housing Authority officials ask Pritchard Police and the Sheriff's Office to increase patrols. Shootings have become an almost daily occurrence. Dodging stray bullets is something most don't worry about. Yet there are citizens within our community who are literally living uh, in fear each and every day. They hope increased safety will decrease the fear and violence. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.